We need to sing happy anniversary to some other people here. The Halperns, Aunt Ruth and Uncle Bill's anniversary. And it's also the Rockers' anniversary. The Salve's anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, dear Halpern. Dear Aunt Ruth and Uncle Bill. Tonight, Salve, happy anniversary to you. It's Lou's birthday. Oh, Simon's 21st birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Simon. Dear Lou. Happy birthday to you. Okay, next we have a little presentation from the Havara. Now tonight, tonight we we didn't make up a song, but we just wanna we wanna speak from the heart. I we all we've we've known Stella and Mike for so many years, we know so much about them. And Mike, you know, confided in me uh, because I, I asked him. I, I said, "Mike, how did you, how did you get Stella to marry you?" And he said, "Well, I told her that I was pregnant." <laughs> yeah, but uh, how did you know that you were really in love with Stella? Because I saw a picture of Stella. How did you know it wasn't just lust? <laughs> Mike, of course, Mike explains things very well, the difference between love and lust, and he explained to me that love is just an extension of life, and that's how he knew that Stella was the right one, whereas lust is just an extension. <laughs> But we want to be truthful. We've been to a lot of these parties, you know, where they just, you know, everything is, oh, you're wonderful and everything like this. But we want to have the both truth. sides. We, because it's, it's an truth. evening of truth. So let's be truthful now and let's tell Stella and Mike what we really think, knowing them all these years. Both the good and maybe not so good. No, 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 maybe no, things no, that have to be improved a little bit. And so first I would like to you know to ask we want we want to talk about the good things. Now who wants to talk about the good things? Who has a good thing to say about Stella and Mike? <laughs> we'll go into the other side of the thing. The other side is things that maybe not so you know, great and everything. And uh, that we would like to see improved. And uh, who wants to start this off? We, we, we call Mike uh, the fix it man. You got it, he can fix it. You ain't got it, he can still fix it. Yeah. Mike makes it very difficult for all the rest of us. And, I mean, that's just the way it is. Whenever anything around the house breaks or goes wrong, there's Mike. He tells us what it's all about and he can fix it. The engineer in him comes out. Right. <laughs> he figures out how to fix it and before you know it, it's all done. The rest of us have to call a plumber or a contractor or an electrician or you name it. And then my wife says, but Pat, Pat not Pat, Mike, Mike can do it by himself. Why do we have to spend all that money? I said, so you should have married Mike. 